and we are really making some progress on building our car. Now it's time to move to the stabilizers on the rear floorboard. The parts include 3 8 inch bushings, quarter inch by 2 and a quarter inch machine bolts, round head bolts, 2 inch flat washers, 2 sizes of nuts and lock washers, quarter inch flat washers, and inch and a quarter fender washers, along with stock radius rods. Let's start by placing a fender washer on the quarter inch by 3 and a quarter inch machine bolt from step 3, right here. Now place the bushing with a flat end toward the washer over the machine bolt. Then insert the machine bolt assembly through the top or the bottom of the floorboard with the beveled end of the bushing against the floorboard at the stabilizer bolt location here. And after you've done that, place a fender washer on the machine bolt against the floorboard and install a quarter inch nut on top of the washer. Tighten the bushing assembly until the bushing end is flush with the floorboard, then remove the nut, machine bolt, and washer. Repeat those steps for the second stabilizer bushing location. The nut, machine, and fender washer are only used for this subassembly and will not be used in a later step. And now it's time to build the stock radius rod subassembly. Start out by placing a quarter inch by two inch flat washer on the quarter inch by two and a quarter inch machine bolt. Insert that assembly through the bottom of the floorboard here at the stabilizer bushing location. Now place a fender washer on the machine bolt, then add two quarter inch flat washers on the fender washer. All right, Gavin, you kind of got a left and a right one of these. If you put it on backwards the wrong way, you'll have a little triangular area sticking out past the axle there, right? Okay. So yeah, I want to make sure that that's flush with the back of the axle. Then place the slotted end of the stock radius rod on the quarter inch flat washers. Place a quarter inch flat washer on the stock radius rod, followed by a quarter inch lock washer on the flat washer. Top that off with a nut over the lock washer, but don't tighten it completely. You might need to make further adjustments in step 11. Repeat the steps for the second stock radius rod. The next step is the stock radius rod subassembly here at the rear axle. To get that started, align the angle end of the rod on the bottom of the axle square stock over the stabilizer bolt hole like this. Then place a 1024 by inch and a quarter round head bolt through the stock radius rod and up through the axle. Put a 1024 lock washer on the round head bolt and install a nut on the lock washer but don't completely tighten the nut because you'll need to make more adjustments in step 11. Repeat the process for the second stock radius rod to the axle assembly.